Hey, what's going on, family? Yes, it is dinner time. So, you know, I was thinking to myself, what should I cook for dinner? I said, self. Self said, huh? I said, what do you want to do for dinner? I don't know what you want to do. And we did that for a few minutes until finally, finally, a decision was made. Now, it's been a while since I've used my Blackstone, so hello and welcome to all my fellow Blackstone users, connoisseurs, and just plain old cooks. That's why I got some good old pork chop coming on. Yes, yes. Why well, these pork chops gonna be something tasty? But I just got, I got one issue that I need to address. Just one. Boy, I got so excited and I put them on and they were cooking up something. I ran in the house and I came back out and guess what I found out? Yeah. I was out of propane. I had to unhook it. Yeah. And they're both empty. So, I think I'm gonna have to go inside and cook them either in the oven or on the top of the stove because it would take too long to cook them in that there smoker so uh yeah they are still raw and they was working on it so uh i'm gonna head on inside and attempt to cook them on the stove in a pan like two or three at a time all right come on let's go So I came back into the kitchen and I reached down to grab one of my frying, whatever you call this thing here, the fry with. But then I thought, I said, uh, I got an air fryer. Oh, 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 oh. So what did I do? I walked over to it. I opened it up. No, I did not preheat it first. Actually, I took my stuff out, preheated it, then I threw my pork chop, that's what they're called, back in and boom! They're in there. Oh, buddy. We're showing, we're showing that pork chop. I'm just looking at the pork chop in the air fryer. Right now, I got it broiling. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if you can see that in there. It's almost done. Oh. Mm-hmm, I even put on some veggies. Got there some corn, some broccoli florets, and some of those peas, baby. Got some peas going on. All right, so it's just about done. One is, once I learn how to talk, I'll share with you what's next. But once it's done, I'm going to plate it up, and I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. You didn't understand that? And I'm going to let you see what it looks like. Mm. So while I'm waiting for my pork chop to finish cooking up, I'm gonna show you some seasonings that I use. And sometimes I experiment. But sometimes I just stick to the basics, you know, garlic, salt, pepper. But I do like my seasonings. So let me show you what I'm doing. Let me show you what I'm doing here. All right, so I use, use a little bit of that right there. Mm-hmm. Touch of that, I know it says steak blend. Don't be deceived, y'all. Don't be deceived. A little bit of that. Oh, did I use apple wood? No, I don't think I used apple wood this time around. Oh, here we go. Boom, this is right here. I really like this stuff. Boom. Mango magic. And really, it's just garlic, onion, and you guessed it. Mango, baby, mango. If you haven't tried mango on your pork chops, give it a shot. You can even use a jelly if you want to. 
Yeah, you can marinate in a mango jelly. It's pretty tasty. But you don't have to take my word for it. I'm just a regular old guy that be cooking up something, you know? All right, it looks like it's almost done broiling. I guess I should go check. Here it is. Was that a GoPro? Oh yeah. Oh wow. That's my kid's uh, buddy, Nico. Oh, oh wait, can I see your name? Yeah. Oh good, because you're going to be on video anyway. And yeah. real name. But anyway. Not anyway, Nico is a so the seasoning I use, I was already, you already saw the seasoning that I use. So even though, hey, I'm trying to record here. Yeah. So you see that I'm, yeah, I lost propane, but that's all right. I finished it up in the air fryer. It turned out pretty good. Yeah, everybody's got a class clown in their family. That's mine. All right, until next time.